Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Pia and I am located in the southwest corner of the Pacific Northwest, Zone 8B. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I wanted to take advantage of what we have growing currently in the garden and so I will use that for our dinner tonight. Come along with me and I'll show you. The main reason why I am making tortillas is because we're gonna have tacos. And let me put my stuff down real quick. We are going to be using up our cilantro and our radishes. Put these guys in my pocket. Oops. Here they are. So, let's see, this one looks pretty big. There we go. I thought this was, shouldn't there be white? Did I plant the wrong one? I don't think I did, but unless I'm pulling them out too early, it looks like it's going to be ready to eat no it's the right one there it is the white end it is going to be that one because it has that white tip in the bottom okay that one too I will need to, um, that one's still, I'm not going to pull this guy out because it's still tiny. So I'm pushing him down while I pull this guy. There it is. It's cute. I will get more in a sec. Oh my goodness. What is that? What the heck? Is that from the tulip? That's crazy looking. That is odd. <laughs> I wonder what that is. But anyway, so here is the cilantro. And it's getting kind of crazy here. So we will be harvesting this guy. I'm just going to gather them up. This one is not that much, but this is basically how it's going to be. So just gather them up and then cut it that's it so here is the harvest for today the french breakfast radish and the cilantro that i will be adding on to the salsa that we are making so i just cut them up this way i see that there's more growing on that side so that's great and if you notice that there's like the little moldy things that is for the slugs I put that there because just in case they end up climbing up here, they won't eat up my greens, especially the bok choy, because they love that, and the lettuces. So just in case, there's something there to deter them. We will be using this flat griddle, but since I will be making tortillas in a little bit, I want to put foil on top. So that I could put in the tomatoes, jalapenos, well actually I got serranos, and a couple of onions. We're going to roast it a little bit, and then we will blend it up to make salsa. This is the flour that I use to make the tortillas. And I would also be including some um, all-purpose flour in there. I'm doing about maybe um, I think a cup makes like a dozen, but I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to do. Let's see how much two cups look like.
Hmm. I feel like maybe three cups. And then I will add one cup. That will make it four. So maybe not. Two and a half of the flour. Okay. So there's two cups of flour in there, of the maseca. And this is half a cup of all-purpose flour. And we'll mix it in with warm water. Yeah, let's do warm water. I said that with uncertainty because I wasn't sure. I don't remember if it was cold water or if it's warm. But I did warm and it seems like it's good. And it's this type of consistency. And when you are like mixing it together, it doesn't stick anymore to your hands. And that should be good texture. And then we'll roll these into a ball and rest it for a little bit. Or give me a chance to look at the tomatoes. So with the two cups and a half, I ended up making 20 of the balls. So we'll leave this here for a little bit. I have this on medium high, but I want to make sure that I don't burn them too much. So I will be putting it in the blender so that it will stop that roasting process. And we'll just wait until the rest are a bit more toasted roasted I mean <laughs> oops my pan keeps turning on me this is not even anymore I think I might have had the fire too high at one point but yes I will put all of this now inside my blender and once I do that I will leave the tomatoes cooking in here. I'm going to close up the foil. Um, I think I want to toast that a little bit more. So, now it's kind of crazy right now, but I'm going to turn that fire off Oops. so that it'll start sweating in there and getting all the juices. Well, it looks like I might have toasted it too much. So, into the blender it goes. And these guys too. I already put the serrano peppers in there. And we are also going to be putting the juice that was left over in the foil into the blender and the only thing we need to add here is salt and that's it I forgot something the cilantro Oh my goodness. Well, I got some on my finger and that is spicy. So I hope we don't mind it being really blended. We can make it chunky or as blended as you want. But I don't mind it being like this. I need to add a little bit of salt in there too. And I don't mind also the stems of the cilantro being in there. For the salsa. So we'll pretend that this is the first time. Almost looks like a chimichurri sauce, which I cannot wait for this summer for all the herbs to grow. And so I forgot one last thing cumin. So I added half a teaspoon to a teaspoon in here. I just cut two parchment paper and put it on each side. Put that rolled ball in there. I'm gonna squeeze this down. And that should flatten that tortilla up. Oopsie. Again, it's hard to do with one hand. Usually I get like the grocery bags and I cut it to size. Even a Ziploc will be okay too. 
in our pan should be nice and hot now okay well I guess there is a reason why I like the bags because this was messing up my tortilla it is sticking so I'm going to go back and do the plastic bags it's not moving yet give it a second a little bit it's almost to medium high okay. now that it can be flipped I wonder if I can just do this I don't want to burn my nail though we'll finish this one up and then I'm going to cut up a piece of ziplock Usually I make four, and so I have like a little line going. First one I lay out, then I flip it, and then I put in another one. And the very top would be ready to go, and it's time for me to put in another tortilla over here. Let's see. Oopsie, not yet. The tears, from how I was taught, there should be like a little brown stuff on the other side, the little roasting going on, and then you can flip it one last time. Just put them in the center. I don't want to use my fingers because my nail might melt. I think that should be good because I saw some browning. See how it's puffing up? That is what we want still got it I'll take a little bit of puff usually the whole thing maybe I could have left it a couple of more seconds so there you go that should be good to go it's been a while since I made homemade tortillas so the first one get some of that queso fresco and that's also that we made.